I'm Lawnside CHSP, and I'm going to show you some different features that are on an A5 air trailer compared to a regular trailer. So first we have five doors. There's also five doors on the passenger side. These trailers, we've, we, you know, we've seen them in the hubs. They tend to get backed along other, other trailers and unload it from the side. Inside these doors, you'll see our air cans. These air cans go on our airplanes, filled with next day airs, loaded on these, and then brought to a hub by us and offloaded into the hub. Each can only has one door and it either faces driver side or it faces passenger side. Here at lawn side, we're generally driver side unload. Use proper equipment when closing these doors. I'm not going to go through a whole pre-trip here, but I'm going to show you just a couple of the different features again. Right up here, there's more, there's more air tanks on these trailers to handle the floor. The floor it has rollers and it's filled with air to raise to make these cans a lot easier to remove. It's your general swing door style trailer, except this is the whole can. On the back of the trailer, you're gonna see these stops. There's usually two of them. These do tend to get damaged. So before moving this equipment off of a door, you want to make sure that these stops are up. That is how they remove them. So they can slide these out of the trailer into the building. And then when they put them back on, once they're pushed back in, goes up and back in the hole. So right now the floor, the floor is settled. There's no air in the floor. Nothing is moving. Our red valve is, is pulled out on the, on the equipment. When the red valve is pushed in on the tractor, the floor will automatically settle. But let's not always rely on that automatic. Let's make sure we always come back and check. And the way we do that is over here on the air control valves. So here is also another extra tank. So on the side of these trailers, you'll see the air control. Open this up and you'll see all these valves and levers. Don't let it intimidate you. We really only have to work with two valves and really only one. So you have an auxiliary and main. If this is ever rubbed out and you can't see the auxiliary and main, the valve always goes up and down. You can use either one to raise the floor. All it is is pulling from different tanks. So we can start on auxiliary, and right now the valve is pushed to lower, which will automatically kick to lower once we um, push, in, push in our red valve in the tractor. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna supply air to the floor. You hear a little buzzing sound. It is raising the floor as we speak. You can come back and check, and you can watch the floor raise. Happens a little easier with the cans being empty, but I'll show you how easy it is to move. So before, I couldn't move that at all. Now by simply tugging, I can easily glide it with two fingers. So now the dangers of this. So once they load your trailer and you do, you hook up, you pre-trip, once you release, once you push in that red valve, it's going to lower the floor. The floor takes a moment to lower. Don't be quick to just pull off. You know, these are hot, go, 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 but don't be quick to pull off. These cans will fall out. What I recommend is once you pre-trip and they give you the good to go, pull forward a foot, come back and look. Make sure your stops are in, both of them. 
you can give a little tug and make sure your floor is settled. If it isn't, you come back to the air control and do the opposite. Put it to lower, our air will start to release and the floor will begin to go down. But this takes time, this takes a minute or two. Let it settle. So as soon as you push your red valve in and you were to pull forward, this still ha can roll out. That's why we want to make sure we pull forward, we check these, then pull forward far enough once they settle, close your doors, and finish your pre-trip. So you can see it's still draining. And once these cans are loaded, it does settle a little quicker. So when you're going, usually when you take these to the airport, as far as lawn side, when we take these over to Philly airport, usually we're going to have to put them on the door for them. And what you're going to do is treat it just like your normal swing door. Open your swing doors, make sure doors are secured. Again, make sure these are still in place, which they should be. Because these doors do not get opened at lawn side, only at Philly airport. So you can see the weight. So you can see the weight is settled and these aren't moving. Now when you back onto the door, the, uh, the hub employees will manage these, that's okay, but they're gonna need this floor pumped up and they need you to do the floor. That's where you come to the control panel and raise the floor for them. Just like we did earlier, you'll turn that on let the air start pumping up the floor and then you're, you can continue to unhook.